What's up guys, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you on VS Code, Visual Studio Code. So as you may or may not know, when working with something like PHP files, then you may be surprised to know that Visual Studio Code doesn't have any additional formatting. When you save things, it won't automatically fix spacing issues, etc, etc. And if you were to make some sort of code typo, save it, you wouldn't get any highlighting for having an issue. So that makes debugging PHP quite an issue. So what you may do from here is you'll head across to the extensions and you'll go ahead and search for PHP. When you do that, you'll probably end up installing, say, PHP IntelliSense. And all of these plugins over here have the same issue that you'll soon see when I finish installing it. PHP executable not found. Install PHP 7 and add it to your path or set the PHP executable path setting. What exactly does this mean? Well, we'll get into that right now. So we'll hit the open settings button and we'll get to the screen over here. Of course, if you don't have this screen up, then you can head across to file, preferences, settings, and you'll get back to the screen over here. What we're gonna look for is php.executable path. And there it is over there, both of these over here. If I hit edit and settings.json, you'll see something similar to this. And this is what the default settings.json looks like inside of your app data roaming code user settings.json. And this is where these settings need to be. So of course, first of all, we need to download and install PHP into our machine. How exactly do we do that? Well, we'll open up a browser and head to the link in the description down below. That'll take you to this page over here, which is the Windows download page for php.net. Of course, if you want other kinds, then you'll need to go ahead and Google how to do it for that. But this tutorial is just for Windows. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the top for the latest release, which is currently PHP 7.4. What we'll do here is we'll look down for the first link over here, and we'll decide whether we want non-thread safe, thread safe, or if we want the x86, which is the 32-bit version, non-thread safe or thread safe. I'm gonna use the x64 thread safe version. So I'll hit the zip button under the header, VC15 x64 thread safe. And this is the one that I'll be downloading. It'll start downloading a zip and I'll click on it to automatically open it once it's done. Once it's opened up, you'll see this over here. So I'll press start E to bring up a new Explorer window. I'll head into C and I'll make a new folder titled PHP. Now, of course, this can be anywhere, but I'm leaving it in C slash PHP because it's probably the easiest to access. Dragging and dropping all of the files across, they're now in our folder over here. So from here, you can go ahead and close your web browser. We'll copy the URL at the very top, which is C slash PHP, and we'll head into Visual Studio Code. Once we're back inside of the settings.json file, we'll open and close inverted commas, colon, space, open and close inverted commas again. So inside of the first set of inverted commas, we'll go ahead and type in php.executable path with a capital P, and we'll go ahead and paste the URL that we copied earlier into the second value, replacing all backslashes with a double backslashes as such. So C colon backslash backslash PHP. We'll add two more backslashes afterwards, and we'll type in php.exe, which is the actual executable for PHP, comma, and we can duplicate the previous line as such. And we can get rid of the colon at the end, and we'll be changing php.executable path to php.validate.executable path as such. That's basically all we need to do here. I'll go ahead and hit Control S to save it, and we can close out of Visual Studio Code. I don't know if closing it is necessary, but by reopening it, we should get the pop-up in the bottom right if we're having issues on a PHP file, as you can see, we got an error. By hovering over the error, it'll give us some more information, or we could also pop it out. As you can see here, VC runtime 140.dll is not compatible with PHP linked to this. If we refer back to the website, it says that we need VC15. By Googling Visual C++ downloads, it takes me to this Microsoft page over here. I'll look under Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and I'll download the X64 VC Redist. Now, of course, this is the latest version and it should work. Of course, if you downloaded the x86 plugin, you'll probably want to download and install VC Redistributable 86. I'll hit install, agree, yes, and I'll wait for it to finish. Now, of course, from here, you'll need to close out of your Visual Studio code, close, and we'll reopen VS Code. 
Now that we're back in this file, as you can see, this line over here is underlined. And if we hover over it, we get code tips. So unexpected closing brackets. If I got rid of it and my underscore, you can see that it's immediately better. And that's about it. You now have code suggestions from that plugin inside of Visual Studio Code for PHP. Thank you all for watching this short tutorial video. I hope it helped you in some way or another. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.